The avalanche happened around 930 this morning, hours after a winter storm warning took effect. I'm Ryan Kennedy and I'm Kristen Remington. Thanks for keeping it here with us at five o'clock. The resort says the avalanche happened at the GS Gully area of KT 22. It closed both sides of the mountain for the day. Jaden Urban is live at Palisades for us this evening after listening in during a press conference this afternoon about the avalanche and it was all hands on deck with people trying to dig out the victims. Jaden. Yeah, Kristen, the press conference ended about two hours ago, but the Placer County Sheriff's Office did confirm that four people were involved, three were injured, and one man has died. Now those injuries were deemed as non-life-threatening as they were all released from the hospital. Two of the people were found buried in the avalanche, and the other two were caught on the slide. The two that were found buried were confirmed to be guests at the resort. The Sheriff's Office said the search is over and no one else is suspected to be missing. The avalanche happened in the GS Gully area of KT-22. Today was the first day that that lift was opened. Palisades said that they had crews out to test the safety of the lift since Sunday and deemed it safe to open today. The Olympic Valley Fire Department, Placer County Sheriff's Office, and more than 100 Palisades employees assisted in the search. The avalanche debris was 150 feet wide, 450 feet long, and 10 feet deep. All first responders and the resort would like to share their condolences with the victim's family. Uh, this is a very sad day for my, for my team and, and uh, everyone here. Um, uh, this is a dynamic situation. We're still undergoing an investigation. Uh, we have a lot, lot to learn yet. And for skiers who were near the avalanche today, they say the event was pretty traumatic. I'm lucky that the bus was late because I would have been in that avalanche. So I saw it when I was going up the chair and then as I came around, anybody that was off the chair, we just all got asked to help and start probing and start trying to just find people. And we did not get any confirmation if Palisades was going to be open tomorrow, but this is an ongoing investigation, so be sure to check in with us both on air and online as we get further developments moving forward. Covering the story live from Palisades, Jaden Urban, 2 News.